Hello Scorpio, the fun continues. <laughs> I'm Didici from astrology.com.au. Uh, I always have a chuckle at Scorpio, it's sort of like I'm talking to myself. You know, I say the fun continues because of that uh, long standing transit of Uranus in the uh, workplace area, the sixth house of your horoscope. Really throwing a spanner in the works at every step of the way right now, if you're anything like me. And that can be rather difficult, but some good news with uh, the sun moving to the sextile aspect of uh, Uranus <clears throat> over the next few days, within about five or six days, around the, let me have a look at that, around the uh, 7th, there should be a lovely 60 degree sextile aspect coming from your fourth house to the sixth house, so that's something to look forward to. You do have uh, Mars, one of your ruling planets, still in your sun sign, and the moon, the uh, luck planet for you, also in close conjunction as the month commences in <clears throat> your sun sign. So these are all good omens. Uh, they fortify the chart. And of course they uh, hopefully will give you a sense that things are settling down a little bit after some very, very abrupt and unusual circumstances with that planet Uranus there in your work. And also uh, the area of health, because uh, health is also dominated by this sixth house of your horoscope. Now in your 11th house, it's interesting, there's a uh, full moon later in the month, around the 23rd, but uh, the the new moon, which is part of that cycle, commences on the 9th um, in your fourth house, which is your domestic situation. So there could be some new um, opportunities there. By opportunities we could we could see that as meaning a uh, change in residence, not for everyone but for some. Uh, generally it's a new outlook on where you live, how you can make the most of where you live. It's also a very strong factor relating to your mother, the maternal side of your family, along with other relatives but predominantly the mother, the matriarch of the family. So this, especially for those of you that have been having some difficulties uh, with those sort of relationships, this could herald the beginning of a new cycle, a positive cycle for you, especially because this fourth sector of the horoscope uh, does give what we call directional strength to, to the moon. And uh, also we note that Mercury, which is your planet of friendship, moves to this fourth house as well. And that takes place on the uh, 14th of February, just after that new moon. So a lot of emphasis on the domestic sphere, the family uh, situation. There are some astrologers that are of the opinion, particularly Eastern astrologers, that the sun is not particularly well placed in the fourth house and Mercury also not a friendly planet to your sun sign, moving through that fourth house, the conjunction of uh, Mercury and the sun, um, not a particularly good omen for the matriarch. So for some of you, the mother may be undergoing some health problems, some debts or financial difficulties that you may have to kick in and help with. Relationships I haven't talked about, we have to talk about relationships, don't we? Venus is in that very, very intense conjunction of Pluto in your third house. Now, we've talked about Pluto there. That's your principal planet in the third house. In uh, close quarters to uh, Venus, Venus will make a, a, a conjunction uh, leading up to the uh, 6th of February. So, as soon as the month commences, you'll start, well, you're probably already feeling that, even in the latter part of January, but as Venus moves into that close conjunction uh, and being the marital planet for you, planet uh, signifying love and those deeper intimate relationships, this could be a pretty intense week. Uh, once that has passed, hopefully you'll be feeling a lot better. You know, one of the principles, I think, the problems with Scorpio is that you're such a focused sign, but when it comes to emotional matters and things that bother you, um, you have a real difficulty in letting go. So you need to learn the art of just not holding on to those grudges or those past events that have been uh, bothering you. 
You know, I mentioned that <clears throat> that new moon that will be taking place in the uh, fourth sector of your horoscope, which is your peace of mind. And the moon for you does rule the ninth house, which is your, your past karma, past events, spirituality. Uh, and being a new moon, it can show, you know, I mentioned the actual outward domestic circumstance as being something that could uh, see a whole new facelift or a change of pace. This also, therefore, has to do with the, the inner part of your nature, how you feel about yourself, your peace of mind, your happiness, and finding some tranquility. So these could be new strategies that you start to employ to find that happiness and peace of mind as a result of maybe letting go a little bit more, not getting bogged down and knocky about the little things, you know, the, the minute of life, which I must admit I'm, I'm uh, guilty of as, as well a lot of the time. So just releasing that, just letting it flow off like water off a duck's back is the secret this month, I think, to uh, finding more peace of mind and utilizing the uh, new moon in that fourth house for a whole range of things from your, the maternal relationship to your domestic situation to your inner peace of mind even to some extent education being the ninth lord and also the fourth house some astrologers believe that has to do with education now the full moon that i mentioned later in the month is occurring in your 11th house the sign of virgo that full moon is great some of you will still continue to uh, go through this process of attrition that I talked about, letting go of friends. Having Jupiter in the north node there, this is called Guru Chandala Yoga, brings with it some very powerful shifts in perception of friendships, the value of friends. Uh, and I'm almost certain some of you will be shedding, just getting rid of those people that have, you know, have got an expired use by date on right now. The full moon could actually bring you some new alliances and some new friendships so that is absolutely a uh, positive sort of thing the sun ruling your 10th house of career moving in that lower part of the horoscope has something to say about you know bringing your work back into the home feeling more content with your uh, your work but generally it's not favored as a place for really giving you dramatic results as far as work is concerned see this last six months it's been moving down uh, the chart into the lower portion which shows us that it's <coughs> basically for your sun sign underneath the earth right now so it's not able to really shine as you would like it to but now straight after this month it's starting its climb back up and uh, by about may june and then uh, up to around August, September, that's when you're going to start to see some really, really good results for your, for your professional activities. Finances are still slow with Saturn there in the second house. Um, that's something you're going to have to grin and bear. The aspect of uh, Jupiter uh, from Mars is, is quite a good one, signifying some opportunity for increased profitability probably after the well leading up to the 14th and after uh, and then uh, another one i forgot 17th is the movement of venus into the fourth house that planet along with the moon has directional strength uh, so we see the new moon taking place there then venus mercury is not quite as strong but venus is going to give good results and this is uh, an excellent omen for the rest of the month into the into the new month of uh, March to give you some better results for your relationships. Isn't that nice to finish on a good note? I hope you'll join me next month again. Um, these are, of course, just very brief uh, overviews of some of the transits. Go to the website, astrology.com.au. We have the textual version there, and I've just put out those yearly forecasts, a few thousand words for each sign, so there's a lot there, all free of charge. Join me next month. Have a good one. Look forward to your company again. Bye-bye, Scorpio.